Hi everybody, it's Psycho Mike and Mel and Michelle. We're gonna do our, our quick question and answer session right here, right now. So we're excited to do this and we just, we're ready for your questions. So give us a second, we'll go through our questions and we'll answer your questions. All right, here's the first question from Edea Wayne Iraola. Um, what was your reaction when Michael told you guys about his girlfriend Jinky, an Asian girl from the Philippines? And a little bit older than your son. Oh, I say shame, shame, shame! <laughs> oh, he go for the older woman. <laughs> Ooh. I say good job, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, first reaction was um, I was like, oh, so you go older woman, huh? And. Uh, he was like, yeah, I was like, okay, okay. So we, we, were, we were okay with it. Mm -hmm. What so. about you, Michelle? Um, I mean, at, at first, we were trying to figure out who you were exactly. So I went and I found your page and I saw your beautiful hair. It's like my favorite <laughs> color. And um, I don't know, we were unsure at first. We just, we didn't know you and you are older, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's older than me. Um, but we love you. Uh, we Thank love you. you. From Rachel, how is Michelle being a wife? Because she looks younger than you, Daddy. <laughs> What's her special quality you love most? Oh, you don't want to know that. No, no. She is younger than me. She is, actually. And um, her, so I've always been able to attract younger women than older women. So it, usually like people that are my age usually go for guys older than me. So I've always had a natural uh, attra you know, attraction and uh, you know, a magnetism to younger women. But uh, what was the second part of the question? What's her special quality you love the most? Oh, uh, I, my, I think the most special quality I love about Michelle is that she is the most kind, caring, <laughs> compassionate person Aww. I've ever met. Aww. She she really is. She really is. Aww. That's so sweet. <laughs> what is your first impression of him? Why you like the, the, the question is why how you liked him because he's, he's older than you. Why did you uh, well I I didn't really see age. I mean, he looks younger. Um, I thought he was hot. <laughs> hot. <laughs> so I mean, it was easy to gravitate towards him. Oh. Um. But yeah, we just click completely. Um. Oh. I guess as far as qualities, right. he's just he has a great work ethic. Um. He we have so much in common. So much. It's scary how much we have in common. So um, he takes care of me. He does everything for me. Uh, <laughs> and what what is a special special quality you love the most? Um, just that he. So I don't like gifts. What he does for me is he will get my oil changed in my car, put gas in my car, Aww. wash my car. Like he he just does the things that I don't really like to do. So, he's just a giver. Aww. Yeah. From Jen De Los Santos, my question is, how old are you and Michelle now? Okay. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> They've all been waiting for this. Are time. you ready for this? I'm 19 years old. <laughs> I wish I was 19 years old. No, I'm actually, I'm actually 19 and a half. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. No. Uh, 19 uh, times 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, and, then, and then half, yeah, yeah. To be honest with you, I am 47 years old. Oh. Almost. Almost 48 years old. Mm -hmm. And then Michelle? I am 35. <laughs> 35. See, how, how, how is your gap? How, how? 12, 12 and a half. 12 and a half years now. separates us. Separate, okay. Do you want to visit in the Philippines some days? Uh, well, I've never been there, so and I was actually just talk, talking to Madam Clay mm -hmm. earlier that I would love to go there on vacation, like as a little family vacation. Mm -hmm. Explore. Uh, sure, I would love to come to the Philippines and visit all my new fans and future yeah. fans. Oh, yeah. And also would love to go with Madam Clay and Mike the Berserker for sure. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to go? 
Absolutely. How did you meet? How did you meet? Ooh, good question. How did you meet? You want me to take that or do you want to take that one? Well, I just have a simple, a simple answer. <laughs> we met online. Online? Online. Yeah. You, what, is your, what is your long answer? <laughs> because she has a simple answer. My long answer is after trying for so long to find the right person for me, the traditional way of just meeting people, I decided to go online and give it a try. I wasn't sure how it would turn out because you hear all the stories yeah. and things like that. But you know what? This is my advice to each and every one of you that tried this. It does work. We are, we are the, the perfect example of finding love. We, there, no way we would have met each other if it wasn't for online. So yeah. I'm very thankful for that. Okay, next from Genevieve Bahal. How many kids do you have, guys? Okay, very good. I go first, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I, I have three children, all with the same mother. Okay, I have Otis daughter, Otis daughter. I have Mike the Berserker, <laughs> only son, and I have youngest daughter. Mm -hmm. So old daughter, son, daughter. Mm -hmm. And Michelle? I have one, one son, you guys have seen him, Jordan. Mm -hmm. um, and he is mine with my previous partner. Uh, so I have my three stepchildren. He has his one stepchild. It's a blended family. No children together. Are you guys like uh, planning to have uh, kids together? No. No. We're yeah. No, we're both done. We have we have a blended family, and we are very happy with our family the way we have it. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because he's a big kid. Himself, so <laughs> yeah. That's all I need. Yeah. I'm, I'm the only kid she needs. <laughs> all right. From May Cabana. Sir, for the both of you, how long you have been together? Ooh, I'll let her answer that question. Okay. Uh, three and a half years. And so far, what is the most hardest problem or trials that your marriage encountered? Ooh, that's a good one. You know, I would say I really haven't had a hardest one. But if we had to think of one, I would say that, you know, we both, we, we both have... Uh, we, we both are stubborn, <laughs> so uh, it's sometimes we both have uh, ideas of w how things should be done, and uh, you know we we both just we sometimes we 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 we, we bump heads, but for, for the most part we work through our problems and we it, it's pretty quickly, pretty too. quickly. Pretty so quickly. we're both I'm stubborn. Always right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's always right. Shout out to. Razel Javier, Michelle looks like Katie of Paranormal Activity. <laughs> Shout out! There you go. Shout out from Razel, her name is Razel. I'll have to look and see, I, I don't know who this Katie is from Paranormal Activity. We're looking, we'll get back with you on that one. There's yeah. a lot of fun, but she's so beautiful. She's pretty oh. and young, keep safe, from Joanne de Leon. Oh. Thank you. Okay, next. What is your first impression of Madame Kilai? Shout out from Cebu. Ooh, she has ooh. awesome hair, amazing <laughs> hair. Gorgeous hair. No, all joking aside, I think she's fantastic. Uh, yeah, she's good for my son. Uh, we are very happy with her. Great personality, very friendly, very welcoming. So uh, we're happy she's in our you. lives. From Maria Grashana, do you like Madame Kilai for your son Michael? That's a good question. We get a lot of that. We got a lot of those questions tonight. Uh, so well, I'll let her answer, then I'll give my spin on it. Um, I mean, I have a short answer. I just told her how awesome mm -hmm. she was a second ago. Um, but yeah, I do think you guys are a good fit and you complement each other well. Mm -hmm. So my answer is absolutely. I, you know, Michael, Michael needed, so you know. <laughs> Michael needed that structure. You know, he, the, the older woman complimented him. Mm -hmm. it, it, he, he is way more mature now, I think, because of Madame Kalei. Wow. I'm thankful for that. Uh -huh. From Fam Cindy, who is sweet and who is the jealous one? Ooh. First, who is the sweetest? Like sweet all the time, like clingy or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually, he's very affectionate and mm -hmm. likes to cuddle and I do too, but mm -hmm. he likes to initiate that. Um, I don't know, we both in the beginning have 
a little bit of jealousy here and there, you know, but I think we're past that. <laughs> She's the jealous one. Oh, the sweet one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's all girls, all women. Oh, I think so. Yeah, it's, no, it's not, nothing bad, but she's the jealous one. I'm the sweet one. But not not as much anymore. <laughs> no, so not anymore. In yeah, in the beginning. In yeah. the beginning. From Imelda Borja Alcantara, if they get married, do you like Madame Kilai as your daughter-in-law? Sure, yes. um, absolutely. Yeah, I uh, posted on my Facebook. She my already is our daughter in daughter here. What can you advise to some other couples? Uh, communication. Uh -huh. Communication is key. Well, I will say, you know, I've, you know, unfortunately, I had to. I've been through a lot of relationships. It's very, very hard to find the right one. But I would say never give up because the right person is there and waiting for you. You may not know it. You may not see it. But they're there, and if you never give up and you keep trying, you will find that right one. But the key to the relationship is, relationships are 50-50. It can't be 60-40 or 70-30. It has to be 50-50. You have to find a partner, number one, that you love, that you get along with, that you're compatible with, mm -hmm. and that uh, you guys can play well with each other. And, uh, you know, Trust and honesty also are also important, which I have. I have everything, so that that would be my my ideas. Mine was just open communication. That that's the most important. Trust, because otherwise, if you have an issue, it builds up, builds up. You explode later, big fight. So. And I'll also tell you that make sure you're ready to be in a relationship. You know, it's never a good idea to jump into a relationship after a, a, after you just got out of one. You're, you need time to, to heal. You need time to, to start all over. Have a clear mind, mm -hmm. you know? Have an open heart, you know? And, and, and be ready to, to, to go again. If, if you had a bad relationship, then, then, you know, make sure you don't bring that negativity into a new relationship. Right. You gotta be willing to be, start with a clean slate. That means trusting and everything else. You can't bring bad stuff into a new relationship. Yeah, that is true. bad. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you for your excellent questions. We really appreciate them. I hope that we were able to answer them for, for you. We are going to go ahead and wrap this question and answer session up. Uh, we'll be doing them again in the future. Don't. I just want to remind you guys, don't forget to, to like my Facebook page. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey, guys. Follow me um, at Mello Michello on my Facebook page. I don't have a YouTube yet, but I'll get Psycho Michael, bye-bye. <laughs>